everybody. We're the crew for The Imagination of Jacob Scott. My name is Brittany Batista. I'm the director. And I'm Stefan Rorick, uh, producer. My name is Adam Herrera, the writer. And I'm Michael Hode, the cinematographer. The Imagination of Jacob Scott follows a father um, on a very important day of his life um, as, he, as he goes home uh, to uh, be with his son, uh, Jacob. Uh, he goes into Jacob's bedroom and finds him playing in his room. And Jacob has this big magical tent as kind of the centerpiece of this room. And it, going inside the tent, you know, anything's on the table. It's this imaginatorium where J Jason and Jacob can do things that they usually couldn't. And the entire time, there's this, this, this undertone of, of some, something is off, something is eerie. And, and you pick up on that with interactions between, between Jason, the father, and his wife, Rachel. And how do you move forward after such a tragic event, um, such as losing your, your only child? When we got the task to make a film too, and I was reading through the scripts, this was the one that really hit heart for me. The son who passed away, I had a cousin who had passed away around the same age, and um, just going through the grief of the parents is a really emotional journey. My son almost died last year, and uh, I was, any parent would be grief stricken. So this year in film two, we had to write a script, and I decided to use that kind of fear and almost tragedy, and I kind of funneled it to uh, a dramatic script. It's, it's not exactly a topic that people like to tell stories about. Um, it's, you know, it's one of the worst things that can, can happen in, in your life, but it does, unfortunately. And if, if our short film can help anyone find acceptance, I think that's huge. I think people should invest in this film because I really think this story needs to be told. Like we were talking about earlier, everyone experiences a death in the family. And I think being the fact that the character who passes away is such a young age, I think that investing in this film and making it come to life, like Stefan was talking about earlier, help people maybe get over a grievance that they had in the past. Michael and I are working really, really closely to try and figure out how we can turn a sadder tone into something that's uh, that something that can be positive. We want to make it uplifting in the end, and we want to make sure that that's portrayed through the characters, through everything that they say, and through the way that you see it. We're not taking this project lightly. I mean, we've been working on it since mid-December, and um, you know, every day is a new challenge, and we're, we're, we're slowly picking away at it, getting ready to go into production. We're making something bigger than ourselves. We want to pay our talents. We want to pay our actors what they deserve. We want to feed you know, a crew of 30, um, whereas in the past, you know, just work all day on some fruit snacks. You know, all, all this stuff. We're trying to leave the student shell behind and go out into the world post-graduation as working professionals. And to do that, you need the funding. That it takes a certain amount of money and a certain amount of effort and a certain amount of skill even to reach the level of quality that we really want to reach with this film. Our crew's made up of people who have industry experience and are coming into Tribeca um, with that professional sur surroundings already in their bones. We, we have crew members that are doing stuff for local Chicago companies. Uh, they worked on professional television shows. We have people from Fox and NBC on our, on our crew. Uh, Brittany and I met on the set of Spike Lee's Chirac, so we're bringing in all these professional experiences and bringing in the personas of our bosses who are in the positions that we want to be in one day and expanding that through all of our crew. Yes, it's a film project. It's our senior film, but we're looking at this as our first career job with graduation looming around the corner. Be sure to check out our campaign on Indiegogo and to donate if you can. Like us on Facebook and keep following us because we're going to continue to update all of you 